Ratna Luna, Austrian Institute of Technology, Vienna. So cancer diagnostics are very invasive. Take for instance colorectal cancer. Um, the actual diagnostics are based on the fecal occult blood test and a colonoscopy. This is really important because colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer worldwide. And when your fecal occult blood test is positive, you have to get a colonoscopy whether you want it or not. So take for instance, from a population of 13,000 colonoscopies done in a um, hospital in Austria, 65% of the people did not have colorectal cancer at all. These are people that the fecal occult blood test was positive. So it was like, okay, you do have cancer. But if we take this like worldwide, when we know that there's around 15 uh, million colonoscopies worldwide, we're talking that it will be around 10 million unnecessary colonoscopies. This is a very invasive and not really nice procedure. And unfortunately, yeah, don't, don't laugh. We all will get there sometime, but that's, <laughs> that's not the point. The point is that Unfortunately, when it's diagnosed, it's already in the very late stages. So there's no treatment for this. Good news is when uh, colorectal cancer is found on time, early diagnostics, nine out of 10 cases can be uh, su successfully treated. So wouldn't it be great if we have um, minimal invasive diagnostics that we can use to detect colorectal cancer? So um, at AIT, we've uh, successfully done that and just using a little simple blood sample. You might ask like, why? Well, when uh, the, the body produces uh, cancer, when there's uh, cancer created, um, our body produces some specific proteins that we call biomarkers. And we can successfully detect the, these um, markers even before the tumor is formed. We are using for this uh, uh, protein technology where we take uh, proteins that we know exactly what they are, we, we test it with the patient sample, and then we use a secondary antibody for detection. And uh, we have successfully um, classified with 93% classification between colorectal uh, cancer samples and controls. That's why we filed a patent already. And our future steps is to move it into a faster and easier way for diagnostics using the Luminex technology. And then even to go even further, trying to uh, distinguish between a tumor if it's malignant or is, if, it's, um, if it's a carcinoma tumor. That's how we want to make uh, future diagnostics, minimally invasive. Just imagine it. With your normal blood sample that you get every year on your medical checkup, you could also test for colorectal <coughs> cancer. That's a question. Oh, thank you. Okay. Sorry. Here. Okay. Thanks. In, in your validation, what Sorry. stage of tumor did you use? Because you claim this as a preventive intervention, right? Or preventive testing. Again, sorry. What stage of tumor patients did, did you use in your this, validation? These were uh, already in late uh, phase four. So grade four, the patient samples that we use. Okay, does it also work in stage one? That's, that's, that's the next step. That's, that's why we want to go uh, focus on that. Fantastic. Thank you very much.